Hi and welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you some general button properties like how to create a rollover, um, how to create like a down state, and using uh, the hit state also. So to start us off, let's just create our button by going to the rectangle tool. And then you can uh, add some curves to, this, to the corners uh, by going to this little arrow here and dragging it up. Um, pretty much the higher you go, the more curved it is. So I'm just going to put it at... Uh, let's see, like 15, 16 is fine. So just drag out a rectangle, and there's a good rectangle, um, which is white. So hold on, let me delete that real quick. Um, let me put out one that is blue. So here we go. Here's a blue rectangle. Um, now I'm just going to get my text tool. It's on white, 35 times New Roman. And I'm just going to type some, well, the color just changed to blue. Let's turn it to white. And I'm going to say, uh, press me exc exclamation point. And that's going to be our text that's going to go on the button. So I'm just positioning this with the arrow keys. And then I'm just going to select both of them by being on your selection tool and then just going over both. And now what we're going to do is actually convert this into a button because you can't really do anything with it right now. It's just a shape and some text. So make sure you hit F8. And a box comes up uh, where you can convert it to a symbol, and you have movie clip, button, and graphic. Uh, make sure it's on button, and then just type in something like my button, or you can label it BTN1 or whatever you're going to use for your project. Uh, but I'm just going to say my button. So click OK. Now, now I have my button. It's uh, all in one. You have, uh, or it says press me, and the text and the shape are all one thing. Um, so to actually apply things to this button, we're going to double click, and that brings us into uh, this layer. It's actually like inside the button, and it says up, over, down, and hit. So basically the up state is what you see all the time. Well, not all the time, but like in general purposes, like if you're just, if it's like just sitting there on a website or in your uh, application and no one's touching it, no one's clicking it, no one's like rolling over it, then it's just going to look like this. So it's just going to be the up state. The over state is when someone rolls over it with their mouse, that's what's going to happen. The down state is when someone actually clicks it, and the hit state I'll get to in a little bit. So just go to your first uh, your first little frame here with the uh, up state and do right click copy frames, and then paste it onto the over and down states. So now what I'm going to do is go into the overstate, and we're going to change this color. So I'm just going to click on the rectangle, and then I'm going to change the color to a lighter blue. So now you can see that it changes a little bit, and that's what it's going to do when uh, we roll over it. So I'm just going to take this and uh, copy the frame and put it on the downstate too. That way it's the same. So now let's uh, go back to scene one by clicking right here and we're going to do control test movie. So now when I roll over it, you can see that this is uh, showing our rollover, so it goes from dark to light. You can also do this with the text, but I just want to do the rectangle. So now uh, I'm just going to double click this to explain uh, the hit state to you. The hit state is pretty much where the rollover happens, like where you can actually click the button is the hit state. So like if we put the hit state over here and clicked it, there doesn't really have to be anything there, this button would do something over here. Like if we rolled over the hit state over here, the button would be rolled over over here. Um, but generally with shapes like this one is, um, the hit state is the side of the button, so we don't really need to mess with anything on this one. So I'm going to show you an example of uh, when you'd use that now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come out and uh, make a text, um, just make some more text. I'm going to go back down and use... Uh, webdings. Um, as you might have remember from my uh, previous tutorial, let's go to like 150 and put the font color on, let's do these sixes. Um, so now I'm just going to type three. Actually, let's do four. So let's say we want to use this forward button or this as a play button, um, like we did in my previous tutorial um, with the image gallery. So you probably didn't notice uh, any problem with the last tutorial, but if you were to use that same button um, and there was to be a button underneath it, then you would have some serious issues because of the hit state. Um, because as it is right now, the hit state, um, it's, it shows 
just this text right here and you'd think that the triangle would be when you roll over that that's where uh, the hit state is but actually it's all the way out to this line here so if you moved right here then the button would change colors or do whatever you set it to so it just it's kind of weird and it'll actually interfere with other things later so basically what I'm going to do is uh, just hit F8 and I'm going to I'm going to hit F8 and um, then I'm going to say my button 2 click OK and then double click and I'm just going to do copy frames and I'm just clicking control on all those and I'm going to do paste frames so oh well it didn't want to paste frames so just go on to them individually and do paste frames um, so now what we're going to do is you see the upstate and then you have the overstate uh, let's actually change the color of the overstate so I'm just going to make it a lighter gray so you can see it changes like that um, I'm just going to show you kind of what I'm talking about so I'm going to do control test movie and now you can see when I'm all the way out here the button is changing color so that's pretty weird like see this one I can get up and touch it and when I touch it that's when it changes but this one it's all the way out here so we're gonna change that with the hit state so I'm just gonna copy the overstate onto there too so that when we click it it's the same as the overstate okay so the hit state basically what we're gonna do is um, grab a just grab your rectangle tool and we're going to just change it to some like vibrant green and what I'm going to do is just get right up next to it. Whoops. Let's uh, undo the rectangle and actually make it so that it's not curved corners because that, let's type in a zero, because that would be a problem. So I'm going to go over this with the green. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that then I can actually see my uh, gray. And so now here's my gray, my static text, and I'm just going to delete that. So basically all we need is the green. Okay? So you're probably like, what the heck is the green doing? Am I actually going to see that? And the answer is no, you're not going to see that. See, when we do control test movie now, see, it no longer changes out here. It actually changes when we touch the green. So now the only part that's really not supposed to be changing is this uh, right here. And you can actually use your selection tool. Um, to get rid of that, uh, but I'm just going to, I'm just demonstrating the hit uh, state to you, so I'm not really actually going to go into that, um, but you could actually cut these corners and make it fit perfectly to your, uh, to your shape, or to your text. So, generally, or basically, this is how you um, just work with buttons. Um, if you were going to add an uh, action script to them, you'd want to give them an instance name like BTN1 for that one, and BTN2, and then you could link them to things or um, well basically to open websites or do whatever you want with them um, but this will get you started with uh, just creating some rollovers you can create menus like that or uh, do whatever your heart desires um, so just make sure that you subscribe rate and comment and I will see you next week thanks